Welcome to Florida. Thank you, Arlette. Primrose um, Pickin and Trippin, Sandra K. Howdy from Texas. I just went through the panhandle. When I went west, I took 10 and I um, went across Texas at 10. This time I went across Texas going east on 40. And I've got a little bit of that in my in my next video that's coming out pretty soon. I'm sitting here at a library and they have really fast internet. Um, I really recommend that if any of you are doing videos and you want to upload, I, I highly recommend finding a, a library. Most of every time I've ever been to a library, they have smoking hot um, internet and it's really great for uploading a video because I've heard of YouTubers going to um, Panera Bread or um, what's the coffee shop? Starbucks. And I've never had very good luck with them, but boy, find a library. Hi, Dreamer. Um, I am her dearest friend in high school and they had so much fun together. But I took pictures of some of the historic places in Cotter. And I'll tell you more about that story. I want to show her those pictures and have her describe those places. And uh, I think that'll be a really special video. I'm looking forward to doing that one. Let me get caught up here. Uh, a P.O. box. I do have a P.O. box, but it's one of those virtual things, you know, so I can receive mail and they can scan it and send it to me. Let me turn my car back on. It's getting warm in here. We're in the sun, as you can see, that bright light. I'm going to turn my central heat and air back on. Okay, I hope that's not too loud. I hope. Let me turn the volume down in case I get some notifications. He told me that one time. Can you still hear me okay? Can everybody hear me? Okay, I'm hoping you can. I turned my volume down, but I don't think that has anything to do with the microphone. Hit the like button. Thank you, Maria. Thanks, Claude. Do I have a P.O. box? Yes. Um, I, you know, as far as receiving packages, though, all they mostly do is just scan it and send me an email showing me, you know, what the mail was. So it's not like I can get uh, packages there. Um, yes, my doggies are here and they're being good right now. They had a very active morning, so they're sleeping they went in actually both of my dogs belonged to my mom at one time um mom got susie she rescued her susie was in a bad situation um she'd been through i don't know how many people and and she just wasn't treated right she she was only maybe nine she wasn't even full grown she might have been nine months old when when mom got her and um you know that was 16 years ago, I guess, or nearly 16. I, I need to check with the vet as to exactly how old they are. No, they're both up there. They don't know it. They're sleeping, so they won't hear me. <laughs> but anyway, mom got her and um, she was, Susie was just a handful. Mom was living in a condo and she just barked, barked, barked. And she was about to pull mom over. Little as she is, she would tug all the time. So I rescued my mom from Susie after she rescued Susie. And then she was lonely and looking for another dog. So I and my daughters went together and bought Coco, the poodle, for her. And so both of them belonged to my mom first. Uh, she, yeah. Um, yeah, I think that will. Cotter, I think it's going to be a very heartwarming video. I can't wait to show her till spring. I'm going to Quartzsite in um january definitely going to court site couldn't miss it but i don't even know how long it is i'm not sure if any of you know how long court site lasts a um, couple of weeks three weeks even if it's a month i'm not sure i would spend the whole time there but i'm pretty sure i'm coming back to florida because i may have mentioned before that <clears throat> my first trip around let me get my yep <laughs> sorry my first trip around the u.s um I I was just sightseeing, you know. I've had I've done van tours of other full-time people, uh, nomads, 
<clears throat> and they all said the same thing. The first time around, it's all scenery, you know, just got a scenic drive, scenic drive, scenic drive. I didn't really, you know, and there's so much to see from the car, even if you never got out, which would be a shame. And I did get out a little. You saw that in some of my videos. And probably I got out more than it looked like even in my videos. But I didn't really do a lot of hiking. I didn't go to local events. You know, um, like the Balloon Festival in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I was, that wasn't all that long ago that that happened. But I was preparing to make my trip back home at the time. So, um... So I didn't get to go to that event, but that's the kind of thing I want to go to. Van get-togethers, uh, local events, historic sites. I want to learn more. I just, um, I just can't learn enough. It won't be all about sightseeing. So after RTR and WRTR, I'll be coming back to Florida. There's so much to see here, and <clears throat> and it's so different now. You know, after the hurricanes. Um. This part of Florida that I'm in, North Florida, doesn't look any different at all. There's no damage here. And my sister lives in Dunedin, and they were, they had no damage, although it had been aimed directly at them. Um, and so I might want to, you know, I, people tend to forget um, about hurricane damage after it's not on the news so much anymore. And... And so I want to kind of go to some of the places that I went before I left Florida because I was I was a nomad for probably three months just in Florida waiting for the weather. If you remember my very first video, I was waiting for the weather to warm up so I could take my trip west. So while I was in Florida, I went to a lot of different places and I'm thinking, you know, a lot of them aren't there anymore. I mean, literally not there anymore, some of the places that I stayed. So I might want to kind of run down that direction and see how things are going there. I might do some video there. And I don't, I don't keep footage. I wish I had the before and after, but I, <clears throat> I take way too much video <laughs> to be able to keep it all. Uh... Leotis Dyer. Yeah, I can't wait for the meetup either, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. I'm going to have a special live just for the ladies that are coming to the meetup, and but I will talk about that in just a minute, too. Thank you. Uh, some people stay all winter. You mean in Florida? Yeah, and definitely I want to stick close by here. <laughs> uh yeah, I know. I do want to go to both, and it just depends. You know, I'm a butterfly. I can change my mind. <laughs> if I, I may stay the whole time. Yeah, Quartet, I think it was. I remember it being two week, but there's a WRTR, and I don't even know yet if that's concurrent or if they're consecutive. Um, yeah. Okay, so for the meetup, um, we have not, we have 25 or more, maybe 28 women um, that are coming to our meetup here in Florida. And we're full. And we couldn't, I mean, I, if you are on here and you're coming to that meetup, please don't bring a friend. I mean, not another vehicle anyway. We are slap full. I mean, it's the, um, it's not individual um, campsites, if you're wondering, most meetups, all of them that I've been to, um, it's pretty much a parking lot. And then there's the play area, a group campsite. If you wanted to bring a tent, you could certainly do that, but it won't be near your vehicle. It'll be out in the group camping area, which is what it is. So it's a beautiful place. So that's my, one of my first videos was the seven van tours, and that's the location that it's going to be. Then, a couple of weeks after that, I'm going to a, a women's camping meetup, and there will be a hundred vans there. <laughs> wow, that's really something. I don't, I don't, I kind of like the smaller, more intimate meetup where everybody really gets to know each other. It's like a family after that. 
and um, so I kind of like I wouldn't really want to even have 50 so we're, we're really full but um, I definitely want to do this some more not just in Florida so you know as I'm traveling again I'd like to do some more in Florida or you know people can make suggestions and we can figure it out yeah it's it's difficult yes i do want to start doing live videos again it's kind of awkward starting them um i need to study it a little bit more and there's an app called Streamyard that a lot of people are using and they really look better than just doing it through youtube like i'm doing now i need to figure out the technology of it a lot better so i'm not just reaching up here and scrolling on the screen i mean that works. I mean, I've I've seen people do it that way, but I need to get the technology a little better. Yeah, yeah, you had it, then you really know I haven't, and I need to get my shots. I haven't yet. There's so many things I need to catch up in Florida. These awful glasses. I need, to, I think, some of the dizziness that I had earlier this year that I spoke about in some of my uh, videos. I mean, I've always had a little kind of, you know, shakiness in certain circumstances, not all the time. But I think um, for a while I was really suffering for a combination of maybe the lack of humidity. I was all dried out. Uh, not as much that, but altitude for sure. And then again, these silly glasses. I can't even tell you how scratched up they are and I've been putting it off I'm in Florida now so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go get them I'm gonna get my eyes checked and get my glasses I gotta get caught up on all the you know I haven't I haven't seen a doctor in long before it's probably two and a half years it was before the pandemic get caught up on all that stuff I got things like um um I got the registration renewed on my car but I didn't get I think they put a sticker on it to, so right now, a police officer behind me would think that my tag is out of date, and it's you know, on the record it's not. So I got to go to the DMV. I got to go to REI where I bought my rooftop carrier because it's coming apart. <laughs> well, not coming apart. It's um, not locking correctly. I think it, I'm hoping it's just the lock. I'm hoping there's still some warranty on it because the front end of it's kind of opening like that so that it, wind is coming in there. And I've got Gorilla Tape taping it down. That's not good. It's, it's safe. It hasn't moved. But it's uh, certainly cutting down on my gas mileage, and I get pretty good gas mileage. Okay, WRTR is before RTR. They're not at the same time. Thank you, Julie. And I will be looking up more about that, of course. Um, January 7th is the WRTR and the whole thing ends on January 20th. Well, that's just about right. So uh, the 7th through the 20th, hmm. I might stay the whole time. Who knows? Butterflies can't plan ahead. I moved from Clearwater to Pennsylvania to take care of your mom. And, and now that she's passed, I'm going back to Tampa Bay November 10th. RV spot for me. Pauline, um, email me at butterflytracks at aol.com. No spaces. It doesn't matter whether it's capital or not, but just butterflytracks uh, at aol.com. It's also now on my um, YouTube channel page, and I can suggest some things. Uh, luckily, I don't think Tampa Bay got any damage from the hurricane, even though it, at, at first it was headed straight for them, and boy, would that have been disastrous. Well, it was anyway. What am I saying? Uh, Grand Caravan. Yeah, Pacific Northwest. Aren't you lucky? Pacific Northwest. That's a beautiful, beautiful area. On StreamYard, you can interview someone that's somewhere else and show it live. Yeah, Julie, I really want to do that. You know, Danny from You and Me Living Free have been talking about doing a live together forever. 
And I've had spotty, and that's one of the reasons why I quit doing lives when I was doing it regularly. I was just, I was traveling too fast and not getting, um, you know, one time I missed my goal of four o'clock for a live by an hour because I couldn't find good internet. I didn't know to look for a library then. Now I do. Uh, the meetup, yes. Oh, I really wanted to um, really let you know that during November, there'll be a lot of videos. They, um, during our uh, meetup on the 6th, 7th, and 8th, I may do a live every day. I'm definitely doing some van tours. Those take a little more editing. So I may do a live every every day plus um, van tours that will get edited and put up later. Then I'm going to the one with a hundred vans. And wow, that'll be busy moment. <laughs> uh, Nana Van Glam, hey there. Going to be seeing all kinds of things business things and um, medical things. I don't have any problems, but I mean, maybe I just don't know. I feel healthy, but I got to check on all that. New glasses and your shots. I'll keep reminding about. Thank you, Marie. I do sometimes, you know, butterflies. <laughs> we are a little flighty sometimes. That's a good description of me. Um, you can come during the day, Arlette. The second day on the 7th would be good. The first day, everybody's going to be, you know, setting up. And it's just going to be a big old confusion on the first day. But you, you're welcome to come for the day uh, on the second day. That would be fine. Oh, by the way, um, at the meetup, uh, if anybody does come for the day, just bring your own picnic. Because we're not really providing anything. Um, so, you know, it's to each his own. I mean, people may put together something like sit some snacks out on the tables or some desserts or something, but meal wise and drinks and all, um, bring your own party. Um, yeah, it is full. It is full. Nobody else overnight at all. And you may have to walk a ways to get to the group area, uh, because the, the, um, uh, parking is limited. RTR is Rubber Tramp Rendezvous, and it's held every year in Quartzsite, Arizona, and I think I heard 40,000 people attend one time, or just even vehicles. Um, Shoshana Perry, you're going to the 100 vans? That's somewhere near um, Jacksonville, I think. That should be really something. Uh, yes, yes, I'm going to be there. Oh, yeah, Nana Van Glam. Um, you know, I can't wait till I get to know everybody's actual name. Because a lot of times I would just love to answer comments on videos and say, you know, your name. <laughs> Sometimes the, your handle on YouTube is so long, it's kind of inconvenient to type it all out. And I, I don't always re remember everybody's um, actual name. So it wouldn't be a bad idea at the bottom of your comment to put just your first name would be fine. It's easy to answer you. I feel like I know you better when I know your first name. Arlette, sounds like you'd be very busy. Oh my goodness, will I be busy. Oh, yes. I'm going to be busy the whole time I'm here in Florida. So far, I've spent a lot of time with my mom, of course. Um, and I was lucky enough to get a campground, a campsite near here. And I don't like saying where I actually am. I don't think it's safe. Like most of the solo female nomads, we don't feel like telling exactly where we are. Except that while I'm doing lives at the meetup, you'll know exactly where I am. Happy Sunday, Marianne. Uh, hello from San Francisco. Oh, yeah. Next time I want to spend more time in California, and I hope the gas prices are a little bit better then. Um, but I, you know, so many states I know I missed a lot because I was just looking for the next, you know, scenic drive. Susan. Susan Perry. Nice to talk to you again. Oh, Susan, are you the one that I met at, at the uh, meetup earlier this year? 
at the group campsite that maybe it was another Susan Perry. Yes. Well, hi. Oh, glad to see you again there. Oh, my goodness. This one filled up so fast. It would have been nice to be able to have 100 people in some ways, but I think it's going to be harder to get to know everybody. But, um, I mean, once I announced it, it just really filled up. In fact, the one that's going to be 100 bands, that one filled up awfully fast, too. So apparently there are a lot of people out here that want to do this. Um, and following you, but left yours for... Oh, yeah, I know. I felt bad that you couldn't come. I'm so glad I'm going to get to see you at the next one. Yeah, we do have an awful lot of people, a lot of ladies coming to the to to the early November, let's say, 30, 30 van meetup. We have a lot of them, almost all of them, are first-timers. Um, my sister-in-law will be there kind of helping out. I know she's such a energetic wonderful person and she is very very experienced she has um, done everything from backpacking to class a which she and my brother have now evelyn you were at travel grandma's that was fun that was fun that was challenging travel grandma's was challenging i think we all enjoyed that so much i mean um, I hope nobody goes to the emergency room from, from my meetup, <laughs> but uh, Travel Grandma handled that so well. Everybody really got to, it just created a family of women. It really was. They have their own um, um, discussion group and everything. I'm missing a meetup in Texas that started this week. Lola Palooza. I know I've been watching some of the videos um every year in october well then i'll just have to put on my calendar for next year i know i'm gonna i already know quite a few people that are there and um i don't i don't want to miss it next year for sure but i needed to be here of course i mean you know um of course i wanted to be my with my mom that's the that was priority one but i also have a lot of business to catch up on it's been Oh, um, almost 11 months since I went full-time um, in my minivan. I'd like to have a discussion sometime. I might do a video about it as to why I actually prefer a minivan over a bigger vehicle. Well, gas, you know, <laughs> that's, that's number one. But there are some other reasons why it could be advantageous. Um... Don't forget my flu shot. Yeah, I'm going to be going to a new primary care that's in a clinic that um, where my former primary care was. And they will be very thorough there. I know they'll, they'll suggest all of that sort of thing. I do have so much to do. I have a list like you wouldn't believe. Um, next to the circle... I had met you, but I recognize your voice. Oh, well, we'll have to get together in another circle sometime. Those are the best. Especially if you have a campfire, but daytime's good too. Yeah, where is Lola Palooza? I've seen videos on that even from last year, and I, th and I think what you said is it's going on now. I think Carol from Glorious Life on Wheels is there and has been doing live from there. Hi, Diane. You might be talking about the one in Texas. I just came through Oklahoma. Got distracted and missed the rest of the live. Yeah, replay. <laughs> uh, um, seemed like there was somebody's question that I kind of missed. Oh, I know what I wanted to tell you about. I have some new t-shirt designs. I have bought two sweatshirts, a t-shirt, a hoodie, a zippered hoodie, and I don't know what I, I'm probably some and some stickers to bring to the meetup. And they are so pretty. I I used to do some graphic arts various jobs that I've had, but I had I went to Fiverr. 
I V R R I think, and um, and had them make the design for me. So they really came out beautiful. I don't have it up yet. It's another one of those businessy things um, that I got to get done. BR crap. <laughs> what a name. That's so cute. Uh, you're from Oklahoma. I remember answering a, um, a, a comment that you made. Always have good videos. Thank you. This next one that I'm going to be putting up is, well, the last one I put up was a little different too, you know, just my road trip and, um, wasn't the most beautiful scenery, but you know, road trip's a road trip. <laughs> and this, this next one, I keep short the not so pretty scenery and, uh, and just show more like what it's like being on the road. Because a lot of people that watch my channel either are very new and haven't taken off yet, or they just want to see what it's really like. Can't wait to watch the meetup videos. That, I can't wait to do the meetup videos. I want to get video around the, I just want to have a, 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 a couple of cameras going all the time. Uh, and then edit later, you know, some of it live. You can't edit live like this. I screw up like I just did. <laughs> this is, you get what you get. Um, it's funny when I was messing around with the technology, trying to get this, um, live going, um, I actually got a little nervous. I'm not nervous now. Uh, I feel perfectly at home with you guys, but the the nervousness comes in on the technology. I mean, I'm okay with that. I've been on computers since they made PCs, um, but I need I I really want to try that Streamyard because there are a couple of different several different YouTubers that we've talked about um, collaborating. Um, oh. I, I shouldn't mess up the name of them. I definitely, you and me living free. She's she's a hoot, as she would say. <laughs> no, I say she's a hoot, but she'll say other people are a hoot, so that's what I'll call her. Yes, I will be selling my shirts. Um, I haven't figured that out. I, you know, uh, what has really gotten to my time is, um, you know, when I, I see, I think I was around Nashville or hadn't even gotten to Nashville. And I was fully going to go on. I was going to take some people's suggestions. But I've saved them. That's for next year. Um, and I was going to see some change of the leaves. And some beautiful scenery. And the, I did see the Ozarks. Some of it. Not as much as I would have. But I t decided to take a right turn near Nashville. And just said that's it. I see a path to Florida. And boom. Off I go. I'm not sure when my shirts will go up. I have to uh, fill out some tax forms and send it in. Um, and then I think they'll put it on my YouTube channel. Either that or I'll do a video and put a link in it or something. I'll figure it out eventually. Uh, reseller channels, they almost exclusively use StreamYard and often will have for resellers at once. It's pretty neat. Now, are you talking about resellers like of reselling um, print-on-demand merchandise or something? I'm not sure exactly what, what a reseller is, but I know a lot of people do that. Uh, yeah, there are so many. I'm always surprised when I'm out in the world and just talking to people at a store like a pet smart or just anywhere and I something how somehow I mentioned that I'm in my camper van and like it's like not quite a hundred percent but there's I mean it's way up there oh I'd love to do that or oh my sister or <clears throat> my son or my daughter or somebody they know is either doing it or really really craving doing it so it's really really neat Yes, I do want to do the StreamYard. Um, um, 
I could, I'm sure I could figure it out. It's just a matter of having time. But when I, like, I think I didn't finish my thought of that one. I was almost in Nashville and took a right turn. I drove for five hours a day, every day. And I have toddlers. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I was pretty tired when I got here and didn't, I need to get caught up on so many things, including my van. Um... Oh, vintage items, yeah. Actually, what I'm going to be doing, which is interesting, and I'll have to ask if my two nephews will let me film them. They probably would. Um, but I'm going to be going to visit my nephews, and I am going to take... I mean, I said I take everything out before, but everything but the furniture. This time, I'm taking out the furniture, because who knows what's back in the corners here. I can't move the furniture now. I'm going to replace the vinyl on my floor. A clear vinyl if you saw the video on my floor. Um, so I've already bought the clear vinyl. So we're going to get every piece of everything right down to the floor. And um, let's see if there are any remnants of... Um, mouse nests <laughs> or mold or goodness who knows i've been so lucky not to have any kind of bugs or anything um but i just really want to have it um just start really fresh it's going to be set up the same to me this is this just works for me so it'll be set up the same but it'll be really clean right down to the bottom I really did it. Yes, I really did. Reseller is a person who buys things at thrift. Oh, yes, of course, and then resells them online. Uh, driving to New Hampshire, Phyllis, next week for a stitching retreat. Um, stitching retreat? Is that what I think it is? It's um, like embroidery? <laughs> I don't know. There's so many people, so many terms for things. Uh, huh. Everybody help me get stuff out. Oh, might be embarrassing. Who knows? Like I said, who knows what's under there? While I'm here, I am going to, before the meetup, I do want to take, um, you know, really start going through drawers. Because there's some drawers that I can get to, but I've never used anything in them. So I'm thinking maybe I can get rid of some stuff. Um, Primrose, Pickin' and Trippin', Sandra K. That's one of the reasons I'm getting a van to travel around and visit all the thrift stores and antique stores. Yeah, um, I was, I knew some people who did that, come to think of it. It was many years ago. Uh, they had a, a really big van, not like a camper van, like a box truck. And it was a husband and wife, and they um, concentrated on mostly antiques. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my mom is my person. Cross-stitching, that's what I thought. Quaker sa samplers. Uh -huh. at, at a Quaker village. I knew some Quakers. I don't know much about Quakers, but I, I knew a lot about these people. <laughs> they didn't talk much about it, but. Why I love my minivan. I can go over that and we can talk about that. Um, number one, why I have a minivan, why I chose a minivan, because I thought about all their options. Number one, um, gas mileage. I mean, how much easier can you get? Number two, I'm 72, and getting in and out of something I have to climb up into is okay almost every day, but then there's those days where I just um, really might not want to climb that much, uh, and I'd rather drive a bullet than a sail. Think about that. This thing is literally, you know, totally aerodynamic and like a bullet. Uh, and you think about a class B, you know, and some of the winds that I was in, I would not have wanted to be in a big old sail. Uh, that's another thing. And how about just one step up in a regular size van that's not a high top? Well, then you are walking in that van all bent over. I've 
had some friends I've camped with. They're walking in their van because you got it. You can't just sit in the bed and reach everything in the van. Um, so you got to walk to the back and walk around a little bit to get to stuff, and you're all bent over. That won't work for me. Uh, or on your knees. I don't do that in a minivan. No, I don't do that. Um, I have a little step I get into, or if I'm in a parking lot, I park next to a curb so I can get out on the curb, use the curb as a step. I have it to my left side. I don't understand why anybody gets in on their um, passenger side. It's a privacy issue to me. I get, I mean, or rain. <laughs> uh, but I have seen a few people that have set up even a minivan where they get out on the um, on the passenger side. I don't know. Um, I saw back to the regular size vans. I saw a woman ha uh, that had a regular size van that was not a high top. I just saw this recently, a van tour, and she got a little office chair without arms on it and um so she could scoot back and forth to get to everything instead of having to walk bent over and that was genius um no i think those are the main reasons you know i can reach everything and then maybe even biggest of all after this much time driving a minivan um it's a luxury car it's luxury it's not i'm not intimidated to drive it i can park in the front of any business anywhere a car can go i can go it's uh it's a pleasure to drive this i drove other minivans and i know people love their siennas and their this and that and grand caravans and i don't know what else and that's great that's great you know i mean it's just a matter of opinion but when i drove them all this was the one for me this one felt like driving a luxury car. I don't get tired. Driving five hours, I mean, I'm tired, but it's not just from driving. Um, it's, it's just really comfortable. Um, and why this minivan, um, some, I haven't seen newer versions of like Sienna's, for example. Um, but they, they, they have this track and gears and all kinds of hardware that sticks up from the floor and my floor if you saw my floor video is absolutely smooth the, any kind of gears were down in the floor and there was just a plastic flat plastic piece um, up above no no gears whatsoever and they came out just really quickly just came out so easy um, and even the bottom of the chairs my nephews are using the second row of seats that came out of here they're using them like a gaming chair in their living room because it doesn't have all that gear underneath all that rough sticking stuff um so that was another thing and of course the plug-in hybrid thing when i am um, plugged in somewhere i can leave my uh, climate control on and it has a hot spot too the car itself is a hot spot uh, so I get Wi-Fi. So when it's plugged in, it, you know, a Prius and different hybrids will go from gas to electric. And, get, you know, the gas will charge the battery and then it goes back and forth. Well, this is plugged in because it's plugged in. The motor never comes on. So it doesn't use any gas. So those are some of the things, probably more than you wanted to know. Um... Add a miniature leaf blower, battery operated, helpful to clean things out of small crevices. That's a great idea. Probably, I'm sure better than a vacuum because it'll blow harder than a vacuum will suck, right? <laughs> That's a good idea. Thank you, Julie. Um, so you have a sewing machine with you? Wow. Um, I used to sew a lot. It's been a long time ago. Um, but I don't have room for a sewing machine. I gotta have my ice machine. <laughs> gotta have my ice machine. Oh, shaker. Yeah. Different old time religion. Uh, Ford is coming out with electric transit. Oh, I'm sure that would be great. I really do like electric. Um, I, right now, until there's a lot more electric vehicle, EV infrastructure, I'm really liking having a hybrid. Um, Chrysler says this vehicle gets 82 miles a gallon if you 
plug it in on a regular basis, which I don't always do. I don't ever have to plug it in. It, it can be just a hybrid like a, a Prius, or I can plug it in to get a lot more uh, gas mileage. How much did I pay for my minivan? Oh my goodness. Yeah, it was um, a lot more. Actually, I I sold my house and I Pardon. I think of it as um, canceled. I, that's my car talking. Um, I think of it as I sold my house and bought the car. But actually, I took money out of an IRA first, and then um, then I was using the money from the house. It's kind of confusing. But at any rate, because I took money out of my IRA to buy the vehicle. Uh, that was another advantage of it being a plug-in hybrid, not just a hybrid. Because with a hybrid like the Sienna hybrid, you don't get any tax break. With a plug-in hybrid, it's considered an electric vehicle. And, um, and I got a $7,500 um, tax uh, credit not deduction so it was the like if I owed seven thousand five hundred it would erase it it's not just a deduction it's a literal credit of seventy five hundred I don't know if that makes sense it might be TMI I don't know but that was another reason that took seven thousand five hundred off of it which which made it under fifty thousand and I don't know what they're going through for now I know that when I bought mine in November of last year, um, they weren't making them anymore because of the chip shortage. So there were two of them on their way to Florida at that moment. And um, I had them send one to me. So I didn't have a choice of colors and everything, but this is the color I would have chosen. So lucky me, it's got the white interior. I like that. Um, so that's the bad news, how much it costs, but it does get it does help to have 7500 knocked right off the price in tax credit. Give the extra seats to your nephews, or are they just using them until you want them back? Um, yeah, I mean, I uh, they're, they're just keeping it for me. I mean, if they tear them up, that's fine too. Um, you know, uh, even without the, these two seats, it still seats five people. If I ever wanted to put the back, the third row up, it still seats five people. So I'm not worried about them. Um, keep going back and forth. Really hard decision. Yeah, Debbie, I know. Um, I really considered everything for really, I'd thought about this for years before I did it. And it wasn't just YouTube. I had wanted to be a travel writer and I was studying travel, being a travel writer. And this is so long ago, there were still magazines. <laughs> That's who you would write for. But uh, now travel writing is done on YouTube. So I fit right in there. Yeah, it's an awfully hard decision. You know, you got to weigh how much does it cost? What, how much is it going to cost to operate? For me being, um, I just wanted something I could depend on. I needed the warranty. And I don't think the, the actually the Chrysler Pacifica at the time I bought mine had the most standard safety features of any vehicle on the road. Safety features. Uh, and there's so many I couldn't even name them all. I mean, this is, this is driving a computer. <laughs> what it is, a computer with wheels. Um, and then I added a safety package on that. On top of that, it has like OnStar, it has cameras everywhere. It'll park itself either um, diagonal or, or what do you call it? Um, I cannot think of that. You know, the two different ways you can park, the hard way to park. It'll do it all by itself. Yeah, they are good reasons, but I mean, everybody's different. Um, I was lucky that I had sold my house and could do it. Um, I have a 2021 Chrysler Pacifica plug-in hybrid. It's the Chrysler Pacifica Limited plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. <laughs> Minivan. Wow. 
I don't even know if I got all that right. <laughs> a mini blower. Yes, I'm really going to do that. I've got a little vacuum back there, but it's just not. I'd rather go to a car wash with a really strong vacuum because I have two dogs and they get dog food everywhere. That's been an issue. You know, dog food bounces and they like to flip it. <laughs> under 50 is not bad. You're right, it's not. And it's only under 50 with that tax break. I want to make sure I say that. <laughs> What's for dinner? I haven't even thought about that. I went to barbecues for lunch. I didn't have breakfast. Um, I go by the store. Yeah, I love my white minivan. Thank you. Yeah, I'm this next video. I um I was kind of scared to show with the door open. It was just piled so high, but anyway, I got that taken care of. A class B. That was that was really my first choice, I thought. Then I thought of the gas and how much I couldn't have afforded a new one and I wanted something new. Um, considering selling it to get a minivan. That's interesting. Um, big and bulky to drive and horrible on gas. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I figured. Uh, yeah, it's the sale thing. When you're driving, if somebody passes you, you really feel the wind because it's a sale. It's a big old sale. Yeah, I like the new vehicle. I was just very... Lucky. I mean, I would have taken off in whatever I had to, <laughs> but I, I was lucky enough to be able to get a new one, and and I'm very grateful about that. Well, guys, you know we've been on here almost an hour. I thank you for being with me because I haven't done this in a long time. What do you think about a weekly chat? Is that something that we would want to do? I'm in an SUV and it's tough climbing in and such. Yes, that was another thing for a taller vehicle. However, now, you know, I mean, uh, knowing what I know now, I, at, at the, t no, it wouldn't have been good gas mileage, but anyway. Yes, a bigger SUV is another good option. And you can use a step to get in or get the certain, you know, things that they have to add to SUVs. But clearance, my goodness, if you're considering a minivan, um, and I've gotten into some strange places that I didn't think I could when I was on BLM land, some bad roads, but there's no clearance. There's no clearance. I mean, there's like that much clearance in the front. I mean, it's just barely, barely, barely. It's like you're sitting on the ground. Yes, BR. Your bed is the most important thing. I don't care which kind of vehicle you get. I don't care if it's a Prius, whatever it is, or, or a Class A, whatever it is, the bed is number one. Safety. Safety and a really comfortable bed. I mean, put some thought into that. Experiment. I would suggest, unless you weigh less than 100 pounds, I would say do not get a cot. They sag, and then you got, you know, I mean, it's just everybody I've heard that got a cot just, I mean, it works for a while, but uh, bed, make sure your bed's comfortable. I did a video on mine. I love it, but everybody's different, so you'll have to find out what works for you. Um, thank you, Phyllis. Thank you. Um, I would do a minivan, but my husband has gotten on the road tripping boondocking bandwagon. And we need something a little bigger. Yes, you do, Kiwi Rose. A minivan is not good for two people. I've seen videos on couples or families, but they're not full-time, of course. And you could do it if it's part-time. You know, probably have to, I don't know. <laughs> I'm glad I don't have to think about that. Uh, a weekly chat. Um, I was doing them on Sundays for a while. Maybe I could try that again. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the campground that I'm at does not have the most wonderful internet, but where I am now, this library is not far, and they've got some wonderful internet. So next time, hopefully I'll get some time to get to StreamYard. Yeah, Julie, I, I have thought about getting the car raised a little bit for clearance, but warranty they're not in favor 
I could actually lose my warranty if I if I lifted it. Weekly, good. Well, yeah, I don't care if there's only two or three people here. Maybe my my mom, my sister, and my brother, and my sister-in-law is four, five with me. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thanks, Patty. Pick a time and a day for your live. Well, I liked the Sundays at four before, and the library's closed, so all that smoking internet is all for me here at this library. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say four o'clock Eastern on Sundays. I don't know if that's a bad time, but you can always watch it in the rerun, right? So guys, are there any more questions before we go? We're right at one hour. Anybody? By the way, any of you ladies out there, I am looking for camping buddies. If you want to email me, um, we might try some caravans or meetups. Um, you know, we'll work out a time and a place, even a state. It wouldn't have to be in Florida. Um, good, Carolina girl. I'm looking forward to seeing you too. Yes, Kiwi Rose, always good to see you too. Alrighty. What part, part of Florida? Um, more or less north central, I guess you'd say. Smash the like button if you haven't already. Thank you, thank you. Okay, guys, I gotta go. I gotta go. I got some stuff to do. I have a long list of to-dos. Some laundry. Gotta put up my privacy tent. You know what my privacy tent for is at the campground that I'm at now. It's just to get some things out of the car and make my campsite look still neater, not just laying out on the on the uh, picnic table. Just to give me some more room. Okay, guys. Um, yes, I do need I need some camping buddies. <laughs> Email me at butterfly tracks at AOL.com. Isn't that amazing that I could get that? AOL.com. Anyhow, I know that's old-fashioned. Who has AOL anymore? Me. I've had AOL. I've had the same email address since uh, AOL was sending out CDs and everybody was on dial-up. Isn't that funny? It's an antique. Okay, bye everybody. This is going to be awkward too. Maybe I'll cut off the first part that's awkward and then saying my part too thanks for coming each and every one of you i love talking to you see you soon bye